hi everyone welcome to coding simplified and in this video we'll see which are the type testing operators in c sharp and how we can convert from one type to other type or like how we can get the type of a particular uh, variable so we do this uh, stuff via these operators which is is operator or as operator then we have this cast expression and then we uh, get the type of anyone via the type of operator right so first of all let's check the is operator so why this we check that it checks that if the runtime of expression is compatible with a given type so why that we check that okay whether this is of type int or whether is whether this is of type double or like this right so the expression of this is e is t where e is the expression that returns a value so like it could be let's say we have a int equals int x equals to 10 and then which we can check that whether this x is int right so what is e so e is x here so x means this is a expression so this will the expression that will return a value it can return double it can return int it can return a string or even it can return an object as well right now t is the name of a type or type of parameters so this t could be let's say it could be int so we can say x is int so in this case it will be true because x is an integer Similarly, let's say if it is a string, so we can say a string is a string and the t will be the string. So that is why this is the name of the type or the type parameter. So is operator is used to check the, to test the type that whether it is of type this one or not. So first of all, let's see this part. So here we have the, we have the three, uh, we have this base class. Then we have the derived class, which is basically driving from the base. And then we have this program class, uh, this program class, which is just for this is here. We are checking everything. Now here we have created object of base class, right? This is a base class. Now we are checking that whether this B is base. So that is true, right? Because this B is a, so B is the expression and here this is a T. So this is same because B expression is of, of which type? This is a base type. So it means this is true. But here this B is derived. No, this is not because drive is subclass of base right it is not the it is not a superclass if it was a superclass then we could have said true but now b is derived no b is of object base not of derived so it means here it will return false right similarly like let's say if we have the object d of derived type now in this case d is base that is true because drive is also derived from the base class so in this case it will return true but whether d is derived yeah that is also true because d is of type of derived right so this is the first type why have, like how we can use the is operator now let's say if i have int i equals to int i equals to 10 right and uh, i create an object and let's say object is obj and where i assign the value as i right so this is one thing or even i can directly assign this uh, one as well right but let's say if i assign this now uh okay let me also put this now here uh, if i check console dot write ln right line and then i say object is uh int right so what it will return it will return true right because this object is of which type this object is of uh integer type right similarly let's say uh so even like right now you can run this and we can see all the result uh, that whether it is uh, printing the same which we expected or not so let me go ahead and we can see this is true false true true and here also it is true right similarly even if i put directly and uh, even if i run it here so that will it will also return true right because we can see this is object is of type integer so it means uh, this is uh, this is how also we can check whether uh, it's matching or not right now let's say if i have uh, if we can directly check the integer so that will also be true so here uh, let's say if i want to check i is int so that is true right because i is integer so in this case if you run this one so we can say that it is returning true here right uh, similarly it can also be boolean as well so let's say uh, if I have boolean i equals to true and here so what it will do it will return false right because i is not an integer so in this case if I run this one 
we can say that uh, we can see that it is returning false right so but let's say if it if we return bool so in this case it will be true because uh, this is true right so we can see this is true now uh, we can also use the nullable uh, value type as well so nullable means which can have the values as null or that per corresponding value so you might have seen this uh, uh, seen this one int question mark so these are the nullable value type so even I have one video on this one so if you want to understand that what it is then you can see the uh, so you can see that video that what is the meaning of nullable value type now in this case also uh, we can say and uh, like let's say if it is console dot write ln and then here uh, we can see i is int right so uh, and uh, this one so it will check that whether the value is int or not so like let's say if I run this one uh, okay 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 so basically I should use the other one j and then here we can check j now run this one and we'll see that it is returning true right but let's say if uh, j is null because this is nullable value type so it can have the null value as well so in this case it should return false right because j is not an integer so we can see that it was returning false error right so these are all example of the is operator that how we can check whether this particular value is of that type right now let's check about the as operator so as operator is basically to convert that expression so we say that uh, as operator converts the result of an expression to a given reference on a label value type now if the conversion is not possible then it returns null so like here we have uh, the expression is eht so like let's say uh, this is like i enumerable right and then as t t is let's say list so it means this i enumerable can be converted into list so that is why it will convert but let's say if the conversion is not possible then in this case it will return true right so e is a name uh, e is an expression that returns a value and t is the name of it type so like here the t was list so we'll also see in the example so here the e is as t means that if e is a if e is of type t like if we can convert this then in this case what it will do it will basically uh, cast this uh, and then it will cast uh, on that particular t and then it will do like this one and if it is not possible then it will basically return the null right so let's see the example of this one and then you will like, understand this so here we'll see two examples one example is that we created one base class and then derived class right so let's say we are creating one object of uh, like base uh, d equals new drive and that is perfectly fine right because it's a base class so we can have the object of this now let's say if I want to convert this object as a derived one so that is possible right that's quite possible because d was the object of derived so we can say d as derived so it means what it is checking that it is checking that if e is possible as t then convert this one so here this d is possible as a drive because d was the object of drive so it's possible so that is why it will return as the object of this one right but let's say uh, if it was the base class if we say uh, this is d as a base right so in this case you see that it is not possible because d is of not an ob object of base because base was the base class right so it will give us the error here right so that's what uh, the point is that if it is possible we are saying from this expression that if e is possible as a t then convert it right so here uh, we could see like uh, it is able to convert this now similarly uh, we can take another example let's let's say we have the i new enumerable so i list uh, implements the i enumerable so it means this is a base class we can say and this is a subclass now here we are saying that and this is a list so we are saying that i enumerable numbers and here we have this uh, list so this is similar to like this so here we have the i enumerable the here we have the list now we are saying uh, that numbers as i list so this is quite possible right because uh, here uh, this was the this was a list so here it is possible so here this uh, this as as possible so now if indexable is not null 
so in this case we can just get the values and then we can play with this one right so this is what the example of how we can do as now let's see the cast expressions so cast expression says that generally we do the cast expression in this form right and it performs the explicit conversion if it is possible to do this right and if it is not possible to do this then it will give us the compile time errors so we'll see the example of this one like here uh, again we take the same example we have the base class we have the derived class and then here we are creating the object uh, base d equals to new derived so it means the object is of drive and here we have the variable of base class now we are saying that we are creating another object which and here we are doing the casting this is known as the cast expressions and this is possible because this d is of type derived so because d is of type object of drive that is why it is possible but similarly if this is the case like here we are creating another object base b equals to new base and now we are trying to cast like this so this is not possible because this is a base class and this is a derived class so we cannot we cannot cast the uh, the derived one from the base class right so let's say if i uh, if i run this one here we go further it will and this will be quite possible because it's uh, it's okay but now if you go further and here it will give the uh, invalid cast exception because this is unable to cast object of type from base class to derived class similarly we can take the example of uh, this so let's say if i have like this so here what it is happening that here uh, this is double is this now here we are saying int a equals to int x so what it is what it will do it will basically cast this double as an int and here it will print it will give us this uh, it will give us the one two three four right because it will remove the this point seven so this is also it's possible via the casting now here uh, like let's say we have the number so number was this uh, like it's the last example that it also took here we have the list equal to this so here we are doing casting we are saying that here we have the number and because it's it is of type this so in here we can uh, basically easily, ca easily cast this like this is the exam example which we take as a based and derived and here now we can play with these examples right now let's see the type of operator so type of operator returns the type of any given data type or the uh, variable so let's see example of this so let's say here we have the type of list so what it will do let me also run this one by one so that you also understand that how it is happening so here uh, let's go ahead and you will see that this is a type of what it is doing then what is the type of this list of string so it is giving the type of the list of string as a list system dot string here we have the list and which is of type system dot string now let's say if you go ahead what is the type of int so it will re return the type is of system dot int 32 so what it does it returns the type of that particular one that you are putting here so it's a type of a string is system dot int 32 now let's say if you go ahead now let's see these two what it is returning the type of a string is the system dot uh, this is a type system dot string this is a type now what is the type of this dictionary inside int character so the type is system dot collection dot generic dot dictionary and then here we have system dot in 32 and system dot care yeah. here we have the b of base and then new derived so our object is of derived type so now b dot get type basically gives us that of the derived type right so here we are checking that if it is of matching type of base so what is the type of it this will be exactly base so that is why it will return false right because here uh, this is of type derived and it is of type base but here the b dot type is derived so this will match because it will give us exactly the type of so this type of always gives us the type of that particular object like what is the type of base base what is the type of derived drive what is the type of string system dot uh, string right so that is how uh, we have seen like uh, how we can do the type testing using the is operator how we can convert from one type to other type using as how we can do the cast expression and how we can get the type of particular using type of operator right. so i hope you might have liked the video and in case you have any questions please write in the comment section if you like the video please like the video and please subscribe the channel for more such videos thank you